Hello, I am S.K. Williams and this is a Hanukkah address. Hanukkah is often thought of as Jewish Christmas. It's not Jewish Christmas, but it is often thought of as such. Even though, outside of Christian cultures, Hanukkah is actually a minor holiday. And even within Christian cultures, where it's become much more prominent, it is actually technically a minor holiday. It is only made more significant by the extravagance of its observance. And that is because it happens to coincide around the same time of year as does Christmas, which Christians, of course, celebrate as the birth of Jesus Christ. Hanukkah, on the other hand, celebrates a miracle. After the reclamation of the temple, they had only enough oil to last three days, but it lasted eight days, until they could get more oil uh, to the temple for holy purposes. And this is why Hanukkah has eight days, and why Hanukkah is seen as a miracle, because it was about the reclamation of the temple, which had been taken over by the Greeks under Antiochus Epiphanes, and had been used to sacrifice pigs to Zeus. This was the abomination that made desolate, and Greek law at the time, under Antiochus Epiphanes, the Greek emperor, was trying to eradicate the distinctiveness of Jewish culture and identity. And of course, the Maccabean revolt led to the expulsion of the Greeks. The Romans, of course, later took over, but the Romans, whilst harsh, were not quite as harsh as Antiochus Epiphanes and his Greek empire had been, although, to be fair, not all Greeks were under Antiochus Epiphanes. He was one of the people who took over the collapsing empire of Alexander the Great after he had died. He took a quarter of the empire, basically, but not all of it. But he did get Israel. And his treatment of the Jewish people within Judea, which incidentally is not all of Israel, uh, was rather, shall we say, less than tolerant. And of course, it is so intolerant that I have to use the pause method in speaking so that Al Gore can settle down and not worry about too many ripples in his rhythm. But not so bad that I can't actually use the word Jew. At any rate, the miracle occurred after the Greeks were expelled. And it occurred on an eight-day pattern. It was considered a miraculous event, showing God's blessing, at the reconsecration of the temple, and having enough oil, please look up why that was. Hopefully, I will be able to next year explain it in greater detail, but I do fear this platform, and I didn't have time to make another one for another platform, so... I am currently being monitored, you see. Nevertheless, Hanukkah is about resilience and about God showing favour and helping those who show such resilience. God gave favour to these people, not simply because they were Jewish, but because they were attempting to do something holy, because they could not do this on their own. God is not our servant, we are his. And it is God to whom we must all serve. But if we are trying to serve God, God will make 
the way for us easier. He will intervene on our behalf in small or medium or great ways, depending upon what he sees fit, if we are truly striving to serve him. And that, I think, is a good message for Hanukkah. I shall take my leave of you now. Thank you. God bless and goodbye.